Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I'm going to show you how to build an outdoor motor stand. So what I did was I grabbed a bunch of scrap 2x4s. It took me last 20 minutes to go around the house, go around the property looking for scrap 2x4s, the right lengths I need to make this outboard motor stand. At first I was going to put caster wheels on it. I went to Lowe's yesterday. Here in Canada, caster wheels, two inch caster wheels, are about $8 a piece, so I need four of them. That's $32. I thought, nope, we're not going to do that right now. What we'll do is we'll just build the stand. I should be able to pull that around and wherever I need to put it here in the garage with the motor on it, I don't need wheels. So all I needed was the scrap two by fours, and I'm actually gonna use two two by sixes for the base. I have my saw, and we're gonna get busy measuring, cutting just exactly what we need for this stand. Also, I'm gonna put a build plan together and I'm gonna put it on the community tab. You'll have to go to my channel, Getting It Done North of Seven, and look under the tabs, you'll see community tab, and just open that up and you will see the build plans right there for this stand. Okay, now that we have all our pieces cut for the stand, we'll start assembling it, putting it together. All right, the first thing we want to do is take our 36 inch base, put it down. We're going to take our 32 inch upper beam here. We're going to take one of these 24 inch pieces that we cut on 45 degree angles on each end, just to measure out where we're going to have this 32 inch piece on this board. Now the reason I use a 2x6 on the bottom because I didn't have a lot of 2x4s laying around. That's why we have that there. That's a good place to have it on the base anyway. So we've, we're just going to eyeball this. So we figure that's about there and we'll put this, mark this spot right here in the middle. And this is where this 32 inch piece will go, right on the center. So we'll drop this over like this. Center our 2x4 upper beam here like this and we'll drive a screw here and a screw here underneath and we'll do both base pieces like that. So there's one done, we'll do the same to the other. Now we're going to put our two foot cross members in place. Okay, now we're going to add our braces in for the vertical 32 inch pieces. These are the ones we cut with the 45 degree angle. We're gonna put them both on, one here, one on that side. And we're gonna screw in this way and this way. And we're gonna pre-drill these holes here and here and up here so we don't split the wood. We wanna pre-drill and then we can run our screws through. But we're gonna use a drill bit that's just slightly smaller than the diameter of that screw head. See what I mean? And we're gonna pre-drill these holes. And we'll do the same for the other side over here and we'll go on to the next step. So this is where we're at now. And now we're gonna put the cross members where the boat motor is gonna clamp onto. So I cut the piece of two by six to go across up here because if I had two by fours, I would have used two pieces, but I use a two by six because I have no more two by fours. And the bracket, the mount on the engine will fit over here just nicely, be good enough. Then I'm gonna cut, cut two more pieces from here to here, we'll measure it, from here to the here, and that'll give it extra strength. So there you go, just like that, we have our boat stand motor, it's good and sturdy, it ain't going anywhere, and we can work on this boat motor now. And I can still move it around without casters. It's not that big of a deal. If you like this do-it-yourself stand build, I got another stand for you. This is for dirt bikes. Easy build, I got a video for that. Down below in the description of the video, you can go see that and also put it on the end card at the end of this video. So if you want to see the series where I take that old boat out of storage and this motor after it's been sitting for four years, 
get them running, get them out on the water and go catch a pike. I'll put a link down below in the description for that video, plus at the an end screen at the end of this video. You can watch both parts of this boat motor restoration project. If you like this sort of thing, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one.